So if you guys have been on Instagram the last few days, you've probably seen all the drama. Um, my followers on Instagram keep sending me these posts um, of this uh, kind of big fitness YouTuber, fit, big fitness Instagrammer, um, just talking shit on his story about me, talking shit everywhere about me, constantly saying, why do people follow this like skinny little bitch? Um, stuff like that, like really disrespectful stuff. Um, using a lot of offensive words like calling me midget, you know, like I'm 5'10". Like you're basically offending probably half your audience by calling me midget because probably half your audience are under six feet, if not more. I'm just, just talking mega, mega shit. Um, and I don't mind this so much just because um, it doesn't really bother me. I've gone through YouTube and ups and downs enough to realize that any negative attention, if you're just confident and you're chill and you don't care, it usually helps you. People will find my stuff, they'll dig it, and then they'll follow, which is exactly what has been happening. Um, but one night, you know, um, I think I, I think I kind of had a, a drink or two, and I was like, screw it, let's do it. Um, so we kept for two years. This guy, for two years, this guy's been talking shit, just throwing garbage at me, saying a really offensive stuff. Um, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. And I put up a post in my story. You may have seen this. Um, just saying some roided fitness guys calling me out, probably upset that um, I banged his ex girl, which is true. Um, and I didn't mean to get her involved in it and all that stuff. And I basically, on uh, my story, I went in detail, told you guys can go on my Instagram and, and check it out. There's a playlist called Drama. I told the whole story about what happened, and he freaked out even more, started doing more posts, saying it's, it's bullshit, never happened. She probably curved my ass and. Um, I posted screenshots and proof, but anyways, um, the moral of the story here so far is that don't be a hater because the reality was this guy been, has been hating on me for two years and the last year when I went to LA, that's when I met his girl uh, and all that. So it's like what goes around comes around. And anyway, anyways, it got pretty aggressive and I was just having fun with it. I was just, um, just kind of, um, you know, just enjoying it, not getting too crazy and, uh, and then he just kind of started saying more offensive stuff. Just really, his full character was coming in. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, dude, this is 2019. You can't throw around these really <laughs> horrible words. Um, and you're pissing off your own audience. And so he just kind of was like shooting himself in the foot. And while this was happening, he was sending me more and more people, more and more people to my page. And I started to throw down uh, testimonials of people saying, dude, like, I just found your stuff. I've been getting great results. So while he was calling me, uh, calling me out, I was just showing all these testimonials <laughs> and all these results and all this good fitness advice, how, fasting, how to get lean, this and that. And so all his followers were converting. It was really funny. And once he realized what I was doing, he like started to delete his posts and or stop tagging me his posts. But anyways, what really, what really, um, what really kind of <laughs> made this whole thing sheer genius was. Um, I do care. I do care about this individual John and I don't like I don't think it's good for him to be doing so many steroids all the time smoking cigarettes lifting light weights I want to help this guy become a keno warrior. I want to help this guy get stronger naturally build a physique naturally um, uh, Not just lift light weights and I want to help him like kick his cigarette addiction and start tricking octane have more energy better workouts better recovery so in my story I made a coupon code John Skywalker, my followers actually told me to do this, so it was one of their ideas. And I made the coupon code John Skywalker. Here's 50% off my programs for the next 24 hours, and here's 30% off Kino Octane. And uh, it's been uh, not quite 24 hours, it's been about 20 hours. And so far, we've made, I think, like almost 100 grand from this coupon code. So, this is a little story about how what goes around comes around. So, thank you very much, John. Um, for uh, all the new customers, and these are people that are gonna get results by program, they're gonna be buying uh, more Octane, probably buying the clothing line in the spring when it's coming out. So you've probably helped me make, <laughs> I mean, in the short term, a good, fast $100,000, but in the long term, it could be closer to a million as these new customers become customers for life and really love and benefit from the brand. So. Thank you, and for you guys watching, um, you guys can still use this coupon code for the next little bit. I don't know how long it will be available for. The coupon code is just simply John Skywalker. I'll put links to Octane uh, on this video or in the description. 
Um, and for the Warrior and Greek God program, if you want to get a crazy deal right now, it's the perfect time to start. It's the, it's the new year. Uh, we have amazing stuff coming, and uh, it was cool to see just because on my story, like, I just kept showing all these transformations and people that said, oh, I used to follow John, I found your stuff, it's working way better, or John treated me like shit, I was a waiter, John treated me like shit, or I met both of you and like, you were really cool, you you talked to me when you had a flight, and like, John just said, like, fuck off, like, uh, uh, manlet. Um, so, uh... It's good to see, like, in this case, to see, like, the bully, asshole that treats people horrible um, get crushed lose a lot of his followers lose a lot of respect from his followers um, now everyone knows that his girl actually hooked up with his biggest hater the, the person he hates the most and that same person made a hundred grand off his ass <laughs> so yes I went full savage I went full savage um, but you know it's uh, that's the story um, anyways that's just what I want to catch you guys up to speed um, you guys, again, you can watch the whole thing on my playlist titled Drama. It, it doesn't, you know, it's just uh, hopefully you learn from this. You can take the point, of, the, really the point I want to make of this is that you can take a really bad situation, someone really attacking you, hating you, and transmute that into something amazing, um, which is what I did. And the bottom line is this. If you really believe in your product, if your product, if your stuff works, if it's amazing, if you really care about your customers, you care about them a lot, you're gonna try and do your best to create the best content, to respond to them, to help them as much as you can, um, then any amount of hate is only gonna help you. Um, and that's what we did. Uh, that's what we did with the Kino Warriors. We turned that bullying into something amazing. Um, and so for you, whenever you get hate, you know, there's a good quote by Napoleon Hill, with every adversity is a seed of an equal or greater benefit. Um, so, I am, this is pretty amazing. Uh, pretty amazing. I am pretty... <laughs> I felt like it was Christmas last night. Christmas. I did not. I did not expect this coupon code to do that well. I was like, yeah, I'll probably make ten or twenty grand, but fucking a hundred. Damn. That's it. Peace.